Have you ever realized that the majority of people who enjoy My Life as a Teenage Robot content are male? This may seem bizarre, since My Life as a Teenage Robot's primary demographic was originally girls. I checked the analytics of this channel, and while they don't exactly give the most accurate data, it gives us an insight to the split between male and female viewers. Apparently, 75% of viewers are male and 25% are female. That means that three-fourths of this channel's viewers are male. Before we get into this, I'd like to say that there are a lot of female fans of the show as well. There's just way more male fans. There's also nothing wrong with being a guy who enjoys my life as a teenage robot. Might be kinda hard to tell, but I'm a guy myself. When looking at my life as a teenage robot with a blind eye, you might think that it's either a regular action series or a girly show about a robot trying to be a teenage girl. As we know, the show is a mixture of both of these aspects. In one episode, Jenny could be trying to dress better than her two bullies, but in another, she could be facing off against a giant robot which is hell-bent on destroying her. So, with that in mind, you could assume that it would make more sense for the audience to be split right down the middle between male and female demographics. Even the beautiful art style appealed to everyone. The show was designed to be loved by everyone. The action would pull in male fans, and the strong female characters such as Misty, Vega, and Jenny herself would keep female fans coming. While this definitely could have been the case while the show was still airing, something changed over the years to make the male fans more dominant. Well, male fans are more likely to remember the show fondly because they had a crush on Jenny at one point. We definitely aren't saying that every male fan has had a crush on Jenny, but you have to admit that a huge portion of the community has. We've covered why people could easily develop a crush on Jenny before, so there's no reason to repeat ourselves now. Their crush could have festered throughout their life, and when they eventually see Jenny again, they may consider joining the community. A lot of people were also introduced by the Zone parody, and most of the people who watched that were male. This isn't a bad thing at all. Our community has awesome people in it, so who cares if they were introduced by something like that? There may not actually be a definitive answer to the question we pose today. You can't just generalize genders and say stuff like, girls don't watch as many cartoons as guys, or guys only watch the show because they think Jenny is hot. Both of those statements are incredibly inaccurate and straight up rude. You could be watching this video at 3 a.m. covered in Cheeto dust, or in your bedroom doing your nails while trying to keep yourself entertained. Either way, you're a fan of the show and a very important part of our community. Our community has a lot of great people in it. Some are men and some are women. Who cares if there's more guys than girls? As long as we're a happy community, and as long as you're a part of our special fan base, you're welcome. Male and female fans all agree on a lot of things. The show brings out their creativity, it makes them more social, and naturally, they know that Roblox Jenny is our Lord and Savior. I've been your narrator, Andre. Thanks for watching. watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a rating. If you want to reach us, leave a comment or check out our other platforms. Links are in the description.